Hello and welcome to this How Tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to be showing you some tips for printing an Excel spreadsheet. So we go to the View tab and hit Page Break Preview, and that will show us where our page breaks and our other pages. So we have one single page right here. This is page one. If we hit Control P, we can see our options here. If we hit No Scaling there, and we look back, we now have our pages split up. And they're split up in very odd spots, which is not what we want. But we can go ahead and change these little lines and move them over if we wanted to. Take out the last two pages and other page. And now we just have, if I move this graph, we just have page one. So that's one thing we can do to test out our previews. If we go to the print, Let's see, we have some more options here. We can print the selected chart. That's because we have this single chart selected. If we select an empty cell or in a cell outside, we now have more options. We can print the entire workbook or just the selection. And we have some margin options. That should be fine, left as is. But if we want wider margins and so on, we can change the pages from and to. And if we go back to normal view and go back to print, I'll just go ahead and look for the scaling options. And there they are. There is custom scaling. So we can change that to no scaling, fit sheets on one page, fit rows or fit columns all on one page. So if we can fit columns on one page, it looks nice. Rows, it doesn't pay attention to the columns and we're missing some columns. And we even have some custom scaling options here. Change that to 57 maybe. See how that looks. We can just change it however we want to get the most ideal print. This has been a How Tech Video Tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.